Let's go. It is June the 9th, 2018. <clears throat> I guess this will be day three of my uh, music and movies that have influenced, inspired, shaped me, however you want to label that. But movies are music that just really have had an impact on me and who I am as an individual, I think. Um, today, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about Some Kind of Wonderful. Now, it's odd. I, you know, I, I mentioned this movie to other people, and it's pretty rare that I actually run across somebody that has seen this movie, to be honest with you. I, honestly, I don't know the last time I actually said the movie Some Kind of Wonderful, and somebody was like, yeah, I saw that movie. Um, now, it is, you know, it's back from the 80s. Um, it wasn't probably the biggest movie, but my grandmother, rest in peace, she uh, she had me watch this movie. I'll never forget her popping it in on the VHS, and and it wasn't even like an actual version. It was like a copied version because I still remember the sticker on the front that said some kind of wonderful. And uh, I remember the opening scene to that movie, watching Mary Stuart Masterson on the drums and Eric Stoltz and then Leah Thompson and and just seeing these characters that developed throughout this movie and I just absolutely was just in love with this movie I mean the entire film the the good guys the bad guys just everything it was so well written and it's a shame that I really don't know more people that have seen this movie but it definitely falls into that kind of uh underdog love story kind of just that whole idea right I mean Eric Stoltz in that movie is you know he comes from a family that doesn't have a lot of money his dad's a blue collar worker you know he blows his entire college savings on uh, diamond earrings for Leah Thompson that end up spoiler alert <laughs> going to uh, Mary Stuart Masterson at the end of the movie and um, and it's just it's it's just, uh, I, I have so many fond memories of that movie, but I'll never forget the first time watching that movie. You know, again, I like, I don't know if it was really a good thing that I'm listening to, you know, Fleetwood Mac everywhere and watching some kind of wonderful at, you know, eight, nine, ten years old or whenever I was watching and listening to this stuff because um, <laughs> it certainly had that type of impact. Of course, today would be the day I'm rocking pink and blue, but... Um, Nevertheless, it's just, it's something that, um, it did have an impact on me, I guess. And, and I always, um, I always rooted for those types of characters in movies and films because I could relate, you know, I didn't come from a lot of money. Um, you know, I, I, I certainly wasn't on the extreme side of things, but, um, but I didn't have a lot. And, and so for me growing up the way that I grew up, um, you know, I rooted for a character like Eric Stoltz in that movie or, or Mary Stuart Masterson that, you know, um, you know, the position that she was in. Um, I absolutely loved her. I loved her in Fried Green Tomatoes, too. I, I thought she was absolutely incredible. Um, but nevertheless, um, just it's another movie out there that really had a big impact on me. And and um, and I always have fond memories of it. So it is Saturday. I'm actually off today, which is like so nice. I'm off today and tomorrow, which is like a shocker. Normally my part-time gig, I'm working Saturdays and Sundays or Saturday or Sunday, one of the two. But today I've actually got both days off. Um, man, so I really don't know what I'm going to do. I went and got my hair cut and who knows what I'm going to do from here on. But uh, I'm going to keep grinding, that's for sure. I'm going to keep moving forward, that's for sure. And you know I'm going to trust the process always. I will talk to you all later. I'm out.